Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back trying out a new foundation that I just got. And so I thought we'd go ahead and get started. Um, actually, hold on here just a Oh, well, never mind. Okay, well, again, it's Adrian, and I thought that we'd go ahead and get started. I'm trying out a new foundation today, and so I started off with the Super Goop Glow Oil with the SPF 50 in there. And then as far as the new foundation, I got the About Face. I have mine in F2. And um, to go ahead and show you a little swatch of this, and it does have a really giant doe foot which is a little bit of a hazard i would just um, go ahead and maybe open the bottle away from you so that you don't get any foundation on you because that can happen and i have had that happen right as i'm trying to get ready to run out the door and nobody wants that so here's my hand and here's uh, the actual foundation so uh, this listed as a cool color and to me it's definitely coming off peach and I know that since I'm in F2 which is the second to lightest shade there's not going to be a lot of pigment in there um, but it definitely is coming off as peachy to me and in this line they do have um, both warm cool olive and peach tones and so um, the cool is supposed to, I think, be more of a pink tone because they have both pink and peach, but it definitely is coming off as peach to me. And I really don't mind that because I actually uh, like a cool tone that's based on peach. But uh, again, I only know for sure that this one shade has that just to let you know and so that you're aware of that and then as far as what i did on the rest of the face i went ahead and did the bronzer the mac and this is the light radiant rosy it's one of my favorites of all time i did go ahead and use that in the lys blush an oldie but a goodie and i have the empower blush on and this is a cream one and if i can get it open i'll show you the color here okay and that's just plain silly there we go this is color and so that's what I have on there um, I did go ahead and pick up a new product and I think it's fun and silly and so it's a revolution uh, bubble balm in the rose gold and it has little beads that are stuck in here and the beads are rose gold and pearl and then you just use your finger or a brush and go around and then you can go ahead and put the um, highlighter on like this and it it ends up having a really wet look to it so yeah and a very pretty look a very pearly look and a very wet look so it looks really good on camera if you're looking for something that's going to look good on camera this one definitely gives you that wet effect and does and then um let's see Luxi l-o-o-x-i i keep on calling it loxy so again if i do that apologize but it's kind of where i'm going lately um and uh, again i'm trying to say Luxi, but it doesn't necessarily work work so um i did one order from them um, I loved all the shadows I got. They, I did another order um, because they were doing this huge big sale and that's what I have on my eyes today. And before we get into that, we'll just go through uh, what else I have on. I have the Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde. And then I also have the Sky High Mascara and I have the primer and the mascara on. So those are the usual suspects that I have on. As far as looksy goes, I did start off with a base, and so I went ahead and used the Profusion base, or um, yeah, it's basically a cream eyeshadow in black, and so that's what I used on my lid because that will make the multi chromes that Luxy does uh, show up a lot more. And um, with multi chromes, you have shimmer, and then you have at least 
two colors, maybe more, in there. And a lot of the time, especially with the multichromes, the shimmer just sort of takes over and you don't see the actual color of the multichrome. So if you add a base in underneath, it will go ahead and help those uh, colors to show up and the shimmer to die down a little bit. Not to disappear, because we all like shimmer, but just to die down a little bit. You can also, you don't have to use a base in black. I picked up the color case by Made by Mitchell. This you can get on the Beauty Bay website, and it's all cream eyeshadows. You don't have to get it at all. But a cream eyeshadow as a base for a multi-chrome will probably make the multi-chrome show up a lot better. So this is what I go ahead and suggest to go ahead and do. And um, again, if you do want to pick up the color case, it's on the Beauty Bay website. But to go ahead and get into the shadows that I used, again, for today, I used the Black Base by Perfusion, which I actually got in a kit by Perfusion, so I don't know if you can get it um, individually, but uh, like I said, you could probably use a Black Cream Eyeshadow as well. And then, um, like I said, they did have a big sale, so I picked up November Rain, and that's uh, one of the shadows I have on actually in the crease and right on the brow bone. And then I went ahead and used Malibu. Malibu. And so this one has um, is a periwinkle with uh, blue and black and purple. And Malibu has uh, definitely some gold and purple in there and uh, maybe a little bit of blue as well. And so this is what I have on the lid and this is what I have on the crease and the brow bone did go ahead and add in Blue Lagoon uh, right on the inner part of the eye. And let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and reapply that. And um, let's see. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of this. Okay, so it's on the inner corner and then I took it down into the bottom um, eyeliner area as well. So I uh, went ahead and added that into the eyeliner and I used the M-Ride eyeliners. I get these over on Timu and they come in a pack I think of either 10 or 20 and so these are the two colors I have on and I have the periwinkle all over the bottom lid and then uh, the darker blue just on the outer corner so uh, this way that the eye look turned out so that's the way that that turned out and I think it worked out really well. I think it's a very, very dramatic look. It's one of the most dramatic looks around. Oh, and this is a Sigma concealer brush that I used here. So um, let's see, what else did I do here? I used the Glowish as my finishing powder in Fair. And so that's what I have on there. And then I did go ahead and use the Good and Plenty as far as the actual uh, lip liner and the e.l.f. And this is my jam as far as the lip gloss on here. So that's how that worked out. And um, I think that's probably the whole look. I'm still going ahead and working on this. I'll have a full review on the About page. Um, but so far, I'm really liking it and uh, really enthused about the fact that they have so many bases, that they have the warm, the cool, the uh, peachy, the olive. So they have a whole bunch of different bases uh, to go ahead and do colors off of. I think that's amazing, and I love that companies are doing that. So, um, yeah, this is really cool. And like I said, I'll be doing a full review on this. The Luxie eyeshadows, again, wonderful eyeshadows. Um, you can get them on the website. They usually run like $4.50 and true they are individual pans but you know multi-chrome individual can easily run like $20 or you know even up to $30 or $40 so to be able to find these and then they were on sale just a little while ago. The whole website sold out. It was pretty amazing.
So I had gotten, I think I have a total of like 15 colors from them now, and they're just absolutely beautiful. So definitely would go ahead and recommend them, especially if you want to be a little bit more adventurous and um, maybe make some of your own palettes or set up a Z palette with a whole bunch of singles in there. My Z palette is actually from AOA which is, you can get AOA um, dollar makeup off of the Miss A website. And so I did go ahead and set up a C palette. I'll show you here. So, yeah, I almost got everything to fit. This one shade down here doesn't want to, but um, I have some of the JD Glow on here. I have a Salt New York um, foundation, a couple of the... Um, let's see, these are the Grace, um, uh, yeah, Grace sing singles, and then I have the Luxie singles in here as well. So I have a couple of different companies, and these are Sydney Grace. So I have uh, these four up here Sydney Grace, most everything is Luxie, and then I have a Salt New York foundation over there. But that's the way that I went ahead and set up the Z palette. And, um, yeah, I think that's uh, the whole video. Oh, I used the Milani Make It Last Dewey to go ahead and set everything. And I think that's about it. And I hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye.